everyone can remember the first video game they played. For me, it was Donkey Kong Country Returns, but for a lot of people, it was Super Mario 64. It's a game that to this day, most people still believe is one of, if not the greatest game of all time. But if a video game that was released 25 years ago is still the best game ever, it begs the question, are video games getting worse? You might immediately think, no, of course not, and I can't blame you. I mean, look at all the games we're just casually brushing off. Super Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Ori, Spider-Man, Sekiro, Devil May Cry 5, Hollow Knight, but think deeper and there are a lot of letdowns. Look at games like Death Stranding, Marvel's Avengers, and Cyberpunk 2077, and even Final Fantasy VII Remake. Look at the newer Paper Mario games. Look at the new Super Mario Bros. series compared to the original. These are all games that looked pretty promising and I was really excited to play, but ended up boring, uninteresting, or in Cyberpunk's case, a completely broken game. Look at all the classic games, the original Mario Quartet, Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Crash Bandicoot, Halo, Left 4 Dead. These are all games that are so iconic that nearly everybody has heard of them and most have even played them. There's a large group of people on the internet who believe that anything after the SNES is bad, or anything after the N64 is bad. The video game industry really isn't like most others. For example, smartphones. The iPhone 12 is objectively better than the iPhone 4. The Samsung Galaxy S20 is objectively better than the Galaxy S5. And the Galaxy S21 is objectively better than the iPhone 12, don't at me. Video games, on the other hand, aren't objectively better than others. When we look at a game released in 2012, New Super Mario Bros. U, most would agree that Super Mario World, released in 1990, is better. The closest medium I can compare video games to is music. Most people like different eras of music, usually the era they were born in, but some are more into old eras. It's the exact same with video games. I think I can analyze what's true and what's nostalgia by looking back at both eras and analyzing some of the games and general gameplay of all of them. Old games were meant to be like arcade cabinets, but smaller and at home. This meant that back in the NES, the SNES days, most games had extremely simple concepts but were still really fun. The problem they would run into is how do we turn a game that can be mastered in half an hour into something that will take days? The answer was to make them completely unfair. Honestly, go dig up an NES or SNES game. Those games are hard! A lot of them aren't hard in a fun way either. A lot of them are just unfair. Games like Contra, Ninja Gaiden, Ghosts and Ghouls. These are some of the hardest games of all time, and for the worst reasons. But not even just those. Look at a game like Donkey Kong Country. Pretty easy game, right? I can do most of these levels in one try. Most of them. Then you get levels like this minecart one where you basically gotta memorize the entire level and don't even get me started on the K rule fight. These games are extremely fun, but there's a ton of small issues in them like save points. I hate the way a lot of these old games use saves. In Mario World, you can only save after a castle or a boo house, and there's only one or two per world. I like being able to stop playing when I want to stop playing. On the other hand, Wow, these are fun games. I have an absolute blast playing these old games. They all have such interesting concepts and gameplay and are so different from each other. Every game nowadays is just, you are a gray man, kill thing. And I have to apologize because I've mostly played old Nintendo games. I have played some old PS1 and PS2 games like Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy VII, the old Persona games, but I mostly know Nintendo. And even then, just playing these old RPGs like the Final Fantasy games, the older Shin Megami Tenseis, and the older Persona games is just so fun! Maybe I'm completely imagining things, but it just feels like these older games were made with more heart. For a while there, Mario on a product meant nothing. But back then it was like, Mom, we don't have time for Uncle Earl's funeral, Mario Bros 3 just came out! Nowadays it feels as though companies are just making games for money. But I think that's a big problem with talking about old games because people have such a distorted view of the 90s and early 2000s. Not every game released at this time was great or even up to par. 
Look at so many NES and PS1 games, so many of them do not hold up now. This era was not perfect by any means, but a lot of people generalize these older days as just a handful of games that are considered good and look over so many bad ones. Look at games like Bubsy 3D, Superman 64, Bomberman Act Zero, and Sonic 06. These are some of the worst games of all time, and they were all released in the 90s or early 2000s. This era has a ton of absolute classics, but it also has some of the worst games of all time. New games are on the absolute opposite side of the spectrum compared to the old ones. Rather than it being simple, you have a lot more story now. Even look at the newer Mario games, which is a series that has not been known for its good writing. Look at Mario Odyssey. Mario is fighting Bowser to save Peach, but he gets thrown off and his hat gets destroyed. Then a ghost possesses its remains, allowing him to turn into anything he throws his hat at. Then they fly away in the Hatmobile to chase Bowser, but that Hatmobile runs on moons, so you have to collect enough moons in each kingdom to chase Bowser. And then after chasing him, you eventually crash his wedding on the moon and you have to collect enough moons to get to the moon. You see what I mean? But I'm not saying this like it's a bad thing. I think that the story really helps to immerse yourself in the video game. I see a lot of people who think you need realistic graphics to immerse yourself, but I've been immersed in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild way more than I've been immersed in a game like Heavy Rain. I think that newer games are bent on giving you an experience that takes a long time. Usually beating a game takes 10 to 30 hours, but 100%ing a game could take 50 to 70 hours. I see three categories of games. Games like Smash or Fortnite that are meant to be played for as long as you want and truly can't be beat. Games like Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey, which are games that aren't really story dependent and are more based on the gameplay and can be beaten. Finally, we have games that are like interactive dramas or are just RPGs. Games like Detroit Become Human and Persona and Dragon Quest. These three categories have stayed pretty consistent throughout the years. They all even existed back in the day and they still exist now. But we're seeing a lot more games that are kind of breaking through this mold. Look at games like Ghost of Tsushima, Final Fantasy XV, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. These are all games with great stories and great graphics, but are legitimately fun and have great combat and movement. I think that a big reason why people think games are getting worse is because of how they've evolved. Super Mario Bros. was released in 1985, then we got Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3 in 1988, and then we got Super Mario World in 1990. Look at Mario now, it's been 3 years and we have seen nothing about the next Mario game. I'm excluding Bowser's Fury because it's very short and a remake, and I don't think that having a break between these games is a bad thing. I would much rather have a good game that takes a long time than a broken game that comes out sooner. My point is that games take so long that when there's a stinker, it really sticks out. I know I brought it up a few times, but look at Death Stranding and Cyberpunk. Both are games that look so creative and interesting, and they took years and years to come out with delays and delays. And now that they're out, I really wish they hadn't come out. I guess they're bad in different ways though. Death Stranding story and gameplay is bad, but Cyberpunk has good gameplay and story and is just a completely broken game. Video games are no longer, how can we turn a game that can be mastered in half an hour to take days? Nowadays, games are meant to take 30 hours and will actually have 30 hours of content. I've been trying to avoid talking about the progression of technology because I think that's unfair, but a lot of things have gone far better, like graphics, immersion, save points, story, controllers, speed, animation. All these extremely classic games will and always will be great, and I think that speaks to how good they are, because even though they have objectively worse technology, they still measure up to games nowadays. Well, either way, let's get to my final verdict. So, have video games gotten worse? No. At least not in my opinion. I think I provided evidence that could support either side. Like some people will say the wait is worth it, but others will say games are too complicated and take too long to come out. Some like having realistic, beautiful games, while others don't really care about graphics and thinks too many bugs and kinks come with those graphics. Overall, I think you should come to your own conclusion, but my opinion is that games are not getting worse. In fact, I think we're on a pretty high point. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to mention that while I was making this video, I saw Emp Lemon had made a video similar to this a while back. 
Um, I purposefully did not watch past the intro of that video because I didn't want to steal any ideas from him. Um, so I don't know if our videos are similar. If they are, I just wanted to let everyone know that I was writing this before I saw Emp's video. Alright, that's it for me.